welcome back i hope you're doing amazing i'm going to be showing you my process for making this diy moisturizing with body butter and um, this just feels lightweight on your skin it's really a moisturizing body butter that doesn't feel heavy um, when you apply it so i'm going to show you my process step by step so let's go on and get started and if this is your first time um, that you're stopping by my name is esther and I make DIY hair and skincare videos um, and I also sell my bath and body care products on my website and I also have some online formulating classes and ebooks everything I mentioned will be linked in the description box if you are interested in checking any of these things out so let's go on and get started I'm starting off by spraying my surfaces with some 70% isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol to disinfect my surfaces. And then I'm going to be using my digital scale to weigh out all my ingredients. And the complete formula um, that has been converted to a recipe in grams, it's going to be um, at the end of the video so that's going to be shown at the end of the video it's going to be in percentages as well as grams first ingredient is shea butter i'm using unrefined shea butter i love this ingredient it's just amazing for dry skin it's packed with so many rich fatty acids vitamins that just help to nourish your skin i'm using some refined cocoa butter because i do not like the smell of unrefined cocoa butter in my body butter products um, but this is also high in fatty acids so it's able to nourish your skin and it helps to improve elasticity so i'm just going to gently melt this down on very low heat i do not like to use microwaves um, so i'm just going to place this in a water bath and just gently melt this down so now that my plant butters have completely melted down, I'm going to add in the rest of my oils. I'm going to add in my liquid oils. So I like to use light oils when I'm making my body butter products. So my first oil I'm adding is some sweet almond oil. So sweet almond oil is a very moisturizing and nourishing oil. So it also helps to enhance the elasticity of your skin and it's also packed with vitamins e and a so this helps to improve skin tone and texture over time as well next is some grapeseed oil this is a lightweight non-clogging oil that's packed with tons of antioxidants like vitamin e um, omega-6 fatty acids so it's very moisturizing um, on your skin so I have all my oils combined everything is ready all I need to do is cool this down um, rapidly I like to do this um, in my freezer so I'm just going to cover this up with some foil leave it in my freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll move on to the next step So I left my mixture a little bit too long in the freezer. So it was a little bit too um, solid for me, but um, I still made it work. So you want your mixture to be much um, softer. Um, it makes it easy um, when you're whipping your mixture. So I'm just going to use my hand mixer and I'm going to start whipping. Um, everybody makes their body butter products differently for me I don't like to whip too long um, I usually keep it anywhere from 10 minutes um, 10 minutes no more than 12 to 13 minutes that's honestly pushing it um, average time for me honestly is anywhere from 7 to 10 minutes and I'm done um, but I was having trouble using this container so I switched over to a bigger bowl just to have a bit more room so I just kept whipping I had whipped for about two to th two minutes at this point two to three minutes 
so you just want to whip and you want to keep um, scraping down the sides of your bowl your container just to make sure that everything is well combined and this is what my consistency is looking like after about eight minutes or nine minutes of whipping um, so it's entirely up to you i don't like to introduce too much air in my body uh, butter mixture because it just deflates um, quicker if it's exposed to heat so um, this is just my guideline for whipping my own body butter product. So this is the consistency. I'm happy with it. So I'm going to add in the rest of my ingredients. I'm going to add in some arrowroot powder to help with the greasiness. Um, you can also use cornstarch or tapioca flour as well. Um, it's entirely up to you or you can leave it out of your body butter um, formula i'm also going to add in some vitamin e oil this is going to help extend the shelf life and keep the oils fresh um, in this body butter I split my mixture into two um, because I want to color uh, my body butter with some mica powder but this is entirely optional if you don't want to use micas um, you don't have to you can just package up and um, package up your body butter I'm using this purple mica powder from nurture soap I'm just going to add um, the powder a little bit at a time you don't want to add too much all at one time because then it might be too much for your batch and then it can stain or transfer to your clothes I'm also adding some watermelon pink uh, mica powder as well um, just remember that you can always add more if you're not satisfied with the color so just work a little bit at a time and I'm just mixing everything into the body butter to get the uh, mica powder uh, to combine properly I'm going to pipe my body butter um, into my containers using this press and seal wrap. You don't have to do this step. You can just scoop your body butter into your containers. But I like using this press and seal wrap. It makes the whole process so much easier for me um, because I make different batches of different scent blends. So I just pull out the amount that I need. It has a sticky portion. So you want to layer your uh, body butter mixture onto the press and seal. And then you're just going to um, seal both edges together. It's going to stick together. Um, and then I use a um, piping tip. Um, and everything I used is going to be linked in the description box. So check that out if you want to um, get any of the items I use. So I'm just going to press them together. So it usually will stick together since it's the press and seal. And then I just put this into um, another bag with my piping tip and this lets me pipe multiple batches different scent blends i just pull out the press and seal replace it with something else um, if i'm piping a different scent blend so i'm just going to pipe it into my jars and that is my process for piping my body butter products
and the whipped body butter is pretty much ready um, I'm going to go ahead and share the formula right here uh, so the formula is in percentages as I mentioned and it has been converted to grams for a hundred and ninety eight gram batch um, this is the amount that will fit my containers these are four ounce containers I decided to wait about three weeks so I could show you how the body butter consistency texture um, had changed so this was three weeks later this is how the body butter is looking so it is firmer than the first day um, it was made but it's not rock hard it's still easy to apply it's still easy to scoop out um, so your body butter should not be changing so much in consistency after a few days after a few weeks or even months um, so if you're finding that your body butter is changing drastically maybe it's the texture is getting super hard look at your formula as well because um, you want to have a good combination or percentage of your hard butter to liquid oils and i've done several videos about my body butter making process i'll be sure to link all those videos um, in the description box but this is how it looks it's still very soft and fluffy it applies really well um, if you want a less greasy body butter just add more arrowroot powder or cornstarch or tapioca flour i like to have a little bit of oil in my body butter products but it goes in or it, it soaks into your skin very quickly it doesn't feel heavy um, when you apply this so let me know what you think in the comments if you have questions please let me know in the comments i'll be happy to answer them um, but i appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much for your support uh, please don't forget to like this video because that really helps um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and also turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos and I have a patreon that's also linked in the description box if you love my content and you find it helpful that's a great way to support me on my patreon and it is linked in the description box but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye Baby, you